I am going to show you the best ways to pick up your perfect foundation, concealer, and setting powder to help you achieve a flawless looking makeup base like I have one right now. When I started learning how to do makeup, I couldn't understand why my base wasn't always coming out as flawless and fresh as all the gurus I was watching. The reason was because there just were not enough foundations on the market that were deep enough and also had the right tones for me to be able to use. It took me a while of experimenting with a ton of different products to be able to figure out my undertone because the traditional, conventional way of figuring out your undertone when it comes to looking at your veins and what colors look good on you just didn't work on me because I'm dark skinned. Every color looks good on me. The best way that I found as I have been experimenting with makeup to find the best foundation, concealer, and setting powder shades for me is literally by actually using the products. Of course, in today's digital age, it is so easy to go online to try to shade match yourself so that you don't have to leave your house and the products could just be delivered to you. That is not always the best way to do it, especially if you don't know what shade range you fall into. So my very first tip for finding the perfect foundation shade for you will be to actually go into a physical store. You can walk into MAC, you can go to Sephora, you can go to Ulta and ask any of the makeup artists to shade match you. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow Foundation. This is new to the market, so I don't really know what shade is going to match me. So this is perfect. Now, after you ask them to shade match you, of course, they're going to look at your skin tone, pick a foundation that they think will look good on you. Now, when that happens, ask them to pick the shade before and the shade after the one that they chose for you. This will give you three options to choose from and it would help you find the best shade for you. Next comes the actual swatching of the product. Before I swatch these, I'm going to shake them up a little bit because I need to make sure the pigment gets all mixed mixed in together. Now about these foundations, Makeup Forever claims they're 86% skincare, medium coverage, and it's gonna give you a naturally luminous finish, which makes me think that this is a natural finish foundation with some kind of a luminosity to it. So it might not be a dewy finish foundation, like some shimmer pieces in there to give you that gorgeous glow. Apparently it can give you 24 hours of hydration, it's undetectable, and it comes in about 36 shades. Now, if you go into the store, do not let the makeup artist swatch your foundation under your eye or close to your eye or in the center of your face. The reason is that the center of your face is the lightest part. Any foundation that matches this region will end up looking too light on the perimeter of your face. Always, always, always ask that they swatch on your jawline and close to your neck. Now, obviously, this shade is not the right shade for me. The tone is too red, and it just does not look like it will disappear into my skin. Next, let's swatch the deeper shade that comes in the collection. And this is the shade 4N78. Of course, swatching the foundations on your jawline will help you determine which shades to completely eliminate from your selection and which shades to consider. Now, before you eliminate any shades, especially if you're not sure of what the shades will look like, I will suggest that you blend it in a little bit, okay? I have found that there are certain foundations, especially like MAC and Fenty foundations, you can swatch them, they look a certain way, but then when you blend it in, they actually end up matching your skin tone very, very nicely. So personally and on this channel, I try not to judge foundations based solely on their swatches. I also try to blend it in to see what it's gonna look like, to see how it dries down and how it settles before I completely discount a foundation. Very much like fragrance. You know how sometimes when you spray a scent, it has like the initial notes of it might not be something you like but then after it dries down it's probably like gonna be your favorite fragrance ever it's the same thing with foundation so my third tip is to blend out a little bit of the foundation just so you can tell exactly what it's gonna look like on your skin tone also just please 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 
try to write down or at least remember the names of the shades that you swatched on your face so we're blending in the shade that we saw was entirely too light based on the swatch just so we can see what it looks like as you can see this is definitely a shade that i need to discount completely because it doesn't blend very nicely into the skin and it's entirely too light for me. We don't want to struggle to get our makeup base to look really flawless. If you pick a shade that does not match you or that is not as closely matched to your skin tone as possible, you are going to have such a hard time getting a flawless looking blendable skin tone like foundation. And it's eventually gonna end up looking like you have a mask on your face. Go ahead and blend in the second shade and see what that shade looks like. Looks like okay based on the two shades that i swatched the deeper shade seemed to be the perfect shade for me my fourth tip to finding the best foundation shade for you is to not feel pressured to choose a shade that you're not very sure about now on more than one occasion i have felt pressure to pick a certain products that i wasn't entirely sure of foundation is just that one thing where i don't want you to feel pressure to pick a shade just because everybody keeps telling you this is your shade okay the hassle of having to go back in stores to pick a shade or to try all over again to pick a shade is so deterring that sometimes people just keep using the wrong shade of foundation now with that being said i am going to swatch the deepest shade that we just swatched from the makeup forever line i'm gonna swatch this foundation that i recently used Okay, next I'm going to swatch this third foundation. Okay, so now we have three foundations swatched on our face. The next thing we're going to do is blend it in to see exactly which one we love the most. Our tip number five was to swatch other foundations, blend it in, and see what they look like. Next step is to go ahead and let it sit on your skin for a little bit. Walk outside into the natural light and see what it actually looks like on your skin tone. I'm telling you to walk outside because sometimes the lights in the store are a bit distorted and that will actually cause you to pick the wrong foundation shade for you, which will end up looking very crazy in natural light. It's happened to me multiple occasions where I chose a foundation, thought it was the right shade, I walked out into the natural light and it was entirely too red for me. One of these foundations is my perfect match. The other one is a slightly almost perfect match and the other one is completely out. Which one do you think that is? The deepest shade in the Makeup Forever Hydro Glow Foundation is entirely too deep for my skin tone. We're going to completely remove it from the lineup. Next we have this foundation. Okay, now this foundation, it is a deeper foundation, yes, but it does match the deeper parts of my So if I had to choose between these two foundations, I personally would choose the one that closely mimics the tone of my foundation. Most of the time, you can't find a foundation that matches your skin tone to a T. So you have to go for the next best thing, which is as close to your skin tone as possible. After you have chosen the two best shades for you, you're going to ask the sales associate to give you samples of these products. Some stores may give you samples and others may not. You can pick those two foundations. One is slightly deeper, one is your perfect tone. For me right now, because we're just now leaving winter, the shade I tried that was my perfect tone right now is going to be my winter shade. The deeper shade that almost kind of sort of matched my skin tone will be my summer shade for when I've been out in the sun and gone a little bit more tan. That shade would be what would look good on me because at that point, the tone, the shade that matched my skin tone completely today will be entirely too light for me. And now let's pick a perfect concealer. Now, when I started doing makeup, the rule of thumb to picking the perfect concealer for you was to pick a shade that was two shades lighter than your foundation. Now for me personally, that did not work for me, especially because of how deep my skin is. I personally like to do especially for the simple fact that i have varying shades in my face my neck and my chest is to pick a concealer that matches my chest we're gonna move the swatches down to my chest this is the shade that i chose as my foundation shade to make sure that my makeup looks uniform and flawless i will pick a shade that matched my chest or was only one shade lighter than this foundation shade what i like to do is swatch them next to the foundation 
foundation and see which one balances the foundation without being entirely too bright. First, we're gonna swatch this shade. This is a shade that is not entirely too bright, but it almost kind of sorta matches my chest. Next, I'm swatching this concealer next to the foundation. That concealer almost kind of sorta matches my chest. I'm also gonna swatch a third shade over here. Now, this is going to be the shade that is two shades lighter than the foundation that I put down. Do you see how bright this concealer is? There's no way that I'm going to be able to blend this concealer into this foundation and have it look beautiful, normal, and snatched. It would look very bright, which I know some people like very bright under eyes, but it's not going to look normal. And dark skin makeup has had the stigma of not looking good for the simple fact that the shades just did not blend very well in together so i try my best to stay away from that narrative by trying to pair the perfect foundations and concealers together to give me a flawless look other shade that i'm very drawn to is this shade right here because it is a gorgeous balance between my foundation and my skin that balances the tones that you see and then if you want a brighter under eye you can, i would go with the one that blends beautifully into my chest but the placement of this concealer is going to determine how your base ends up looking as far as the setting powder goes if you are a beginner at makeup i have only one recommendation for you the benai colorless powder of course, there are two types of colors powder that come to Benai. There's a Benai neutral set and there's the colorless powder. Go for the colorless powder because it is a white powder. However, when you apply it to your face, it doesn't actually change the tone of your foundation or your concealer. And the more you blend it in, the more it disappears. It will mattify your skin, but it will not change the tone of whatever it is that you're putting it on. It did not change the tone of my face. That is what you want there are several different powders to choose from however if you're a beginner and you pick the colorless one it gives you so many possibilities and it can also prevent you from making the mistakes that i made when i started doing makeup where i was told that the yellow banana powder was a dark skin's was a dark skin makeup lover's best friend and every single time i would put it on my makeup base my base would be completely and entirely ruined for example you can choose a powder that looks like this now unless you're experienced at how to put makeup on this powder could potentially ruin your base that you worked so hard for so going for a colorless powder will make sure that your base comes out looking beautiful flawless and the tone of it is not changed now I hope this video helps you pick the perfect shades of foundation, concealer, and setting powder for you. If you're looking for more setting powders that can pack more of an impact in your makeup, check out this video right here because I show you the different types of setting powders that I use, especially for dark skin, that can help your makeup look as flawless as possible. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever HD Hydro HD Skin, oh my God, say the right name. 